All right, and welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the Council Podcast. Uh, we have a lot of people here today. Well, we have three. So we're just going to go down the list from top to bottom. Uh, first off, one of our newer people joining the podcast, we have Cinnamon Roll. Hi. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, next, we have Deadpool Cat. Hi. And then we have our notorious Shay lover return outside. <laughs> Hello, yes, hi, thank you for having me again. <laughs> All right, so today um, we're going to continue our discussion that we did last podcast about uh, everyone's best and worst moments of the Assassin's Creed franchise as of so far, up to... Valhalla, I guess we can say if anyone wants to talk about the trailers. So I'm giving everyone a 10 minute time limit. <laughs> Only because I know how Sai is. <laughs> I have a lot of feelings, okay? It is really only for Sai. So. Um, you should be Hana Ezi. <laughs> We're going to start top to bottom, I guess. Sai, you're getting a last just in case there's a few extra minutes. You can stay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sounds good. <laughs> All right, so Cinnamon, do you want to go first? Oh, yeah, I guess. Um, You know what? I'm going to be honest. I don't really have a, uh, a least favorite. I kind of liked everything. Um, a bit. Oh, well, besides the Ezio trilogy, I honestly was like, okay, I, I, I like you, but I have enough. <laughs> <laughs> but, and, and, and that's actually why the reason I kind of stopped playing Assassin's Creed because after the second game I was like uh alright I'm gonna go play God of War and <laughs> that's what I did and I forgot it existed for a while until Arnold um, game appeared in time shut up um, <laughs> um yeah. yeah um but I think my best moments oddly enough I think most people are gonna hate me. It's Syndicate. I really like the the humor of everything. It um, mm. you're right, you're right, right. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm with you on that. I I loved it. I honestly, I play it over and over again, and um, mm -hmm. and it's just it's just fun for me. I like playing from Evie to Jake. And, you know, all yes. that. Like it was just great. I liked it. And then the grappling hook. I was like, yeah, I could, I'm Spider Man. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Oh so my fun. god. Yeah, I don't know. The, 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 grap the grappling hook was a good idea to travel fast instead of just walking in the street like a, a passenger and like we, nope, I'm already here in two exactly. hours. Yay. <laughs> I have to cross yeah. the entire map and I can go <laughs> my feet. I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, there's that. Um, I mean, I favor Jacob too, but Arno is always like my number one. So I would like mm. love to go back to Syndicate. I mean, not Syndicate. Uh, Unity, and you know, I you know, I lost the I lost the game though, so I gotta go and buy a new one and play it all over again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I hate it, but you know, that's just me being dumb. Um, <laughs> um but yeah, I mean, that, that's pretty much that's it. I don't, I'm not too uh i'm not too critical i'm kind of just enjoying free flow with everything so yeah um but newest games i haven't really played um like odyssey i haven't played that i watched my friend play it and, and then my brother so that's like my only like oh yeah like i know what it's about but do i really know what it's about um i'm hoping <laughs> for the newest game though i can buy it because i'm saving my money and i'm like yeah i'm gonna play this one for sure yes. <laughs> it's vikings i want vikings that's like one of the ones one of the things i wanted and then yeah just i don't know i i don't have too much of high expectations just kind of going playing and then you know going like yeah i got more history um yeah, no, that's just that's it i'm short <laughs> Choice. Yeah. Syndicate for life. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it. I think it's funny how the last generation like hates Syndicate. Like all of our previous leaders yeah. will go on whole podcast rants about Syndicate. <laughs> 
I know, and I felt really bad. Like, I never mentioned it before because I was like, oh, God, I, I actually like the game. <laughs> I cannot I say it. anything bad. I can't say anything bad about it. I mean. No, I can't. It's so fun. I mean, okay, I, I'm not sure if you also noticed this, but in Syndicate, I also have, like, my brother screaming again. Um, There's um a building where you pass by it, and it actually has Jacob's voice actor singing a song, and I was like, whoa! It, no, 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 it's not him. It's, it's not him? It's, no, he okay, confirmed well, it's it not him. Okay, well, it sounds like him, and I'm no, like, No, I know, whoa. he knows that. And Apparently, I'm like, there is a recording of him doing it, though. Yeah, 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 I listened to that, so that, like, that's mm -hmm. why I was, like, basing I was like, is that him? Because, like, I've heard this before on YouTube, but I don't know mm -hmm. if this is him, like, this is where they got yeah, it from. Yeah, it's not. But if, anyway, I was like, I remember when I passed by it, I tried getting into the building, but you couldn't. And I was like, I'm I know. off with that because I'm like, I want to, I want to see who's singing. <laughs> I know. I was singing. like, who is the non-playable character singing? <laughs> um, and then yeah, um, I also like the carriage rides. That's fun. Uh, you get to crash and kill people, and you don't get kicked out of the game for it. So. Mm -hmm. I, I I like I think wait I like to think that Jacob killed a lot of people driving because I can't drive the carriages. <laughs> <laughs> I I ran it over so many people in the game and I felt so bad. I was like, but I don't, I'm going really fast. I don't know what I'm doing. It's a horse. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Same. <laughs> I have but, a kiss. He was trying to come up and say hi. Uh no. <laughs> all right. Is that all you want to say, Sam? Yeah, that's all I want to say. All right, so cat, best and worst moments. Cat, he dead. <laughs> Cat's best moments of silence. Huh? I didn't have the cat. Sorry. <laughs> um, so my first and worst moment in well, I came pretty late in Assassin's Creed, like. Uh, I didn't really heard about the first games before Syndicate Regal showing up and had had on YouTube. So I pretty came in the fandom with Syndicate, so that's uh, that's my game of heart. Even though I dislike it because she's always like uh, what do you say too serious instead of Jekyll, like elephants uh, around like hey, what's kind of. So Syndicate was really my my first game of heart and my favorite moment of the Assassin's Creed franchise. I didn't really look out about the other games at the previous ones, but I watched some Let's Play on YouTube to see how it went about and how the story went to uh, kind of understand and get interested in the, into the fandom. Uh, if I had to say the bad moment about Assassin's Creed, it's when like kinda when Origins came out, cause they really took the like like I said, I really like simple games that you just go do as a the first quest and have tiny side quest of like a chest to open things to find mm. like you can go full on the first quest and like origins have too much of content like it's almost a red blood redemption it's trying to act like it has more and more content but it kind of like a uh, broad me because you have too much thing to upgrade your skills, to upgrade your armor, to upgrade your load. Like, fuck, let me play the game and this. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that too. I feel that so much. I've been actually been playing Red Dead so much recently, the online. <laughs> and it's such a grind to like get something. It takes like two hours just to make like $200. That was me with Odyssey. I don't even want to get into Odyssey. I haven't played oh it my yet. God. But I've, your time will come, Sai. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, as an easy way of comparison, like you, you what, like we was talking about Spider Man by using the the hook. Spider Man is a great game. I suggest you to play it because it's two point A, two point B. It's the first okay. game I actually did one hundred percent on it because. You have to see this story, you want to continue the story, and there is no much of a, a side quest that uh, interrupts you into the continuing of the story. Oh, and like you, fun. you can upgrade your, your suit with different skills to have a different kind of gameplay. But there is no much of great, like you have to. Like in origin, you can also go, become a Samai girl. Like, I don't care about the shit, I just want to be an assassin and kill people. <laughs> and then change the control. 
Oh god, when I first started Total Dream, they changed all the controller was like, fuck all do I put back my sword? This was a true one. Mm. I love the Spider-Man game. Are you talking about the new one for the PS4, the 2018 one? Mm. Um, I, I've been playing it. I haven't finished it yet, but I love the fact I can just go into easy mode because I'm the person that loves the story more mm. than like the challenge. And just be able to go like through the story and like, yeah, there's a little side quest like, oh, here's one of his backpacks you can go find. And oh, like, here's a little like hideout. Let's go beat some people up. But they made sure to keep that focus in with the story with Spider-Man. And it's not going through his, through his origin story for like the hundredth time. <laughs> yeah, that's what I like. Like you go, you do the story straight. And maybe if you want to do full 100%, you can search all the bugs and all the, all the goodies around the world. Yeah. And that's enough. Mm, like, and it's, it's such a beautiful game. I love the graphics too. And mm. <laughs> <laughs> Chef's kiss. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that's the game. And it went the, the same with Odyssey. I didn't bought Odyssey because I knew it would be the same as Origins and I wouldn't bother to buy it. It's, what I kind of dislike with Valhalla too. Like, I always wanted an Assassin's Creed with Vikings, but the thing is that it's the same RPG thing that you have to upgrade your character with tons and things to kind of earn level and maybe become level 2. Just too much. And, <laughs> and just too much time. Like, in Syndicate, I become into world level 5. That kind of allow me to do most of the missions. And Origins, I spent one month to become level 3. Oh, damn. Oh, no. Wow. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of bad hurt and ruined my experience. Sorry, so I, I feel that. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a Twix instead? <laughs> it will calm your ass down for like five minutes, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, that was kind of my rant about the new... Maybe soft marketing technique and yeah, I, that's my one fear with Valhalla. Like, I love the fact that it's open world and you get to go see some mythology. I'm just scared it's gonna be like that level up grind feeling as well, though. Like we have I heard it's gonna be better than Odyssey. Is it? Well, cause you know, with Odyssey, like at least for me the entire time i got to play all i did was grind and i got nowhere so that was a big complaint and so yeah. apparently it's been reported that ubisoft has updated and changed that to make valhalla easier i mean I shit. that's good i hope i love yeah, fingers crossed different weapon styles though like how do you do in unity mm. oh yeah more weapons <laughs> <laughs> so. Right, More weapons me, wouldn't be a bad thing. Sure, yeah, it wouldn't be a bad thing. Okay, so Sai, thankfully you have um 20 minutes. Okay. Oh, oh my boy. god. Here we go. <laughs> go, Sai, go, go. <laughs> Guys, wait. Set a timer for 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear that, that bell button. to make it 30. <laughs> oh my god. Everyone put your alarms on. Okay. <laughs> uh, All right, you see Beth? Here we go with C. Begin. All right. <laughs> we'll put my alarm on. Book of Ruse. All right. So, oh, I just went deaf in my left ear. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right. Um. Hmm. 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 Where do I start? <laughs> you have Let's a take a point and go. That's. I know. Okay. Your... So. So the first thing I want to say is, like, I absolutely freaking love this game, as all of you know. I take it very seriously because I get very involved in my fandoms. And because it just makes it more fun for me. So Unity was my first game and I adore the French Revolution. Like, that's what I want to go into as, like, a career is studying it. So playing Unity just every day and being able to experience the Estates General or um the cult or the festival of supreme being like those two moments i actually like had to pause and cry because i was finally being able to experience these things that i've studied and that i've loved 
And so it was just a really emotional moment for me. Don't cry, Sai. <laughs> I won't. That's in the past, but I loved it. <laughs> and then um, I also, one of my best moments from Unity, and I'm very, very proud of this, I was able to, I knew who uh, Marat's killer was before even having to play that murder mystery. Because as soon as I walked in the building and saw he was in the bathtub, I'm like, here we go, Jean-Paul Marat, I know who did it. And I just ran right to the person and I beat it in like record time. <laughs> um, another thing that... I was really emotional about was playing three as well because the American Revolution is also one of my like passions. And so being able to participate in the Boston Tea Party was just incredibly magical. And I know you guys say you don't like Paul Revere. Shut up. I love him. I think he's funny. But um I was a little disappointed in three overall just because I didn't have all of these American Revolution fantasies that I was hoping I was able to live out, but I couldn't. But it's okay. The fact that they added um, Benjamin Talmadge and had a little database entry about the cult perspiring as well was like an absolute dream come true. And trying to fight Benedict Arnold was like everything I've ever wanted. So yeah, um, and then like, y'all know I love Haytham. <laughs> so, like, I, I low-key actually liked him before I even played 3, because I saw a portrait of him when I played Black Flag, like going through Abstergo, and I was like, oh, I like the way that guy looks. And then I played 3, and I was like, oh. Um, so now moving on to uh, Rogue. <laughs> Uh, Shay Patrick Cormack is a wonderful character and can do no wrong. <laughs> but I want to say, <laughs> hey, hey, every time I'm going to say it. But I want to say I'm very proud of myself that I beat all of the legendary ships just for the outfit. It was totally worth it. And uh, it was a pain in the ass to do, but I'm proud of myself. I think going back to three, there was another level. It was a naval mission. And you had to, um, oh, what was it? Destroy the ships using only the like powder kegs. And it was like the most difficult naval mission in the whole game. It was awful. And I, it took me three days and countless tutorials to beat, but I did it and I cried. <laughs> oh, and another thing. <laughs> I like doing this in Unity. There's this one level where you have to uh, go to uh, Robespierre's house, which is not correct, by the way. It's not in the right location, and he never lived in the area where the game put him in. Don't ask why I know that. <laughs> I'm just saying, but there's like an angry mob in front of the house, and I like smoke bombing them and scaring them away. <laughs> and then I don't know if you guys do this but i like listening into uh npcs and like hear what they have to talk about and stuff and one of my favorite moments was in syndicate there's a group of kids and one of them is telling them i saw these chimney sweeps like flying from the roofs one of them has a top hat it's so cool and they're like no you're lying and i just know that He's talking about Jacob, but I just think that's awesome. And just some of the stuff that the NPCs talk about and do. I once saw these two guys toss a man into the River Thames. And then they just, like, said, that's it. And then they say different stuff depending on what you're wearing. So if Jacob is in Ezio's outfit and you walk around, people will literally say, oh, my God, what is he wearing? <laughs> it's awesome. I love little things like that because it makes it so realistic. Is, but, the Ezio costume cost a lot? What? The Ezio costume in Syndicate costs a lot. And that was like, like, I want it, but it's so expensive. It's like... <laughs> um, it, that's Unity for me. Because <laughs> Unity, you gotta grind to get some of the pieces of the outfits, and it's pain. But you know what? It's worth it, because Arno looks good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, okay, like, man, getting 
most of the outfits for Arno was such a pain. I remember uh -huh. having to Google half of it because I was like, I am confused. Where am I going? I know. I know. And like, uh -huh. since it was my first game, I had no idea what I was doing. But I was like, oh my god, I'm playing dress up, yay! So I like <laughs> dress up with my characters, except Rogue. So going to the worst things, I don't like a lot of the outfits in Rogue just because they're literally all the same thing, just in different colors, and that bums me out. But Shay's Whaler outfit is the best because he wears a turtleneck and mittens and it's peak boyfriend material, but you can't choose outfits for Haytham and it's crime. So, yeah, but, um, you know, what other worst things are there? Uh, I have a few moments where I'm too busy, like, uh, staring at, I can't believe I'm saying this, staring at Haytham, and I would die in Rogue because I was just too busy watching what he was doing. <laughs> and, uh, same for NPCs, like, I try to look cool in front of them because sometimes they actually do react to what you're doing, especially in, like, two the women will hit on Ezio. So if you're running by or doing parkour, they'd be like, oh my, what tight tights. Now that's a man. And so I would try to do something cool, but then the parkour will fail. And I, I drew a comic about this and I would like fall in the water or something stupid would happen. And I just, I feel the embarrassment and I hate that. <laughs> um, other things I don't like. Um, I wrote the list, but I'm kind of going off from it because a lot of it is just like character deaths, like certain character deaths I'm not okay with, but I won't spoil anything just because I don't want to have to put that thing back up on the video, say spoilers from here until the end of the video, like last time. <laughs> I, there's most likely, there's going to be a spoiler warning already before we get to the movie, so. Oh, true, true. But yeah, um. It just one of the main things that always bothered me was uh, going back to Unity, the way they portrayed some of the historical characters I don't agree with, but they I understand why they're like that. It's because of story. So I won't get into that because that's a whole like TED talk. So yeah, and um, yeah, that's all I can really say. Usually when people ask me like, what are some favorite moments and stuff? They're just little specific things like the way Shay say, I had to after Liam was like, are you the one that killed Hope? The way he says it is so painful and I love it. And then the same goes for a lot of the things Haytham says in three, just the way it was acted. I can't believe I skipped this. Um, I just want to say, I think a good thing to end off is uh, the one sequence in Rogue, the color of right, is Chef's Kiss. And if you've played it, you would know. Uh, and that's all I have to say about that. Right. I think I'm doing That was the wrong ride. <laughs> I think so. Do you want me to keep going? <laughs> ten more minutes. I have 10 more minutes. Oh my god. So, like, Shay and the bandages, man. It's so nice. I do, Michael and I were talking about this in the group chat. <laughs> and we were like, there's that one episode of SpongeBob where Squidward was trying to impress Squilliam and he imagined Squilliam shirtless and he goes, oh no, he's hot. I have those moments in the games. And the color of right and rogue was my oh no, he's hot moment. And, like, I just think that is so funny. I don't know why. Like, I can pinpoint the moments that I thought that to myself. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, so that's where it started. Uh... <laughs> that's where my addiction came from. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think. What else is there? Mm. Uh, uh, normally I probably have more, but I'm so brain dead that everything is blanking on me. But 
one of my favorite things while playing games is when you're trying to run away from like guards or something and the character isn't doing what it's supposed to so like i've i've gone back and started replaying unity and there was a moment where i had some sand culottes like chasing me and arno wasn't like moving up the building and i love that moment of panic where they're like about to shoot at me and i'm going go 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 like it's so fun to me yeah, yeah i remember both that trouble with lava with, uh, with arno my my thing was though was climbing and making him jump to like the other side like oh, yeah. I've 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 never thrown my control in my life, but huh. one time I had to sneak into this one building and Arnold kept jumping off the damn building. And I'm like, dude, get in the window. Get in the window. <laughs> what an issue with Black Flag. Like for some reason, Edward would never do what I want him to. Oh, and <laughs> honestly, the Ezio trilogy is the worst when it comes to mechanics, at least for me, just because yeah. Again, Ezio would never, ever do what I needed him to. So the training rooms in Brotherhood are the bane of my existence. I tried so hard to get a gold in every single one of them, but oh my god, I just couldn't. The game hated me. Uh, so now I have like one silver and it bothers me. <laughs> um, what else? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, I wish Hatham was in the DLC for three. That would have been cool. Um, what else? <laughs> <laughs> um, Sai, if you're running out of ideas, you can just, I don't know, talk about random stuff for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you're absolutely right. <laughs> um, um, so one thing we'll definitely be doing is Michael was supposed to be joining us as well today, but he disappeared we think he died he died, <laughs> he died. <laughs> he died. <laughs> we get for dissing paul revere <laughs> this way connor <laughs> it's I'm pretty funny. sure i'm pretty sure he got nuked i don't know <laughs> <laughs> it's funny we're recording this before i get i have the fixed version of the podcast out so <laughs> I got a piece of meat, and apparently, according to Michael, that's how I know. Ooh. What? Uh, Michael keeps saying that I have the apple of Eden because I can always beat him to sending memes before he can do it. <laughs> I want I want to make it very clear. I do not have the apple of Eden, friends. I don't know who has it. I don't remember me. what happened. It. It's, in sure it. <laughs> it's in the movie. <laughs> no, I think. I think Cal has it. As of like, I don't know, 2016, whenever the movie came out. <laughs> uh, yeah, 2016. Yeah. I, I guess. I guess this is when we should put our spoiler warning. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, I'm just Damn it, Sai. Why do you keep doing this to yourself? <laughs> I'm just going to put a like, full on, like, as a general in the beginning spoiler warning. Because that's yeah. mm. happening with every single podcast we're recording. <laughs> I mean, people ask, like, the worst things that happen in the games, and it's like, hey, guys, the ending to three, that moment when Connor is yelling at Haytham and Washington and Valley Forge, it breaks my heart. <laughs> All right. I could talk about Revelations, but <laughs> no. Okay, I want to talk about Unity for, like, one second, because I... About what? Unity is the one game I'm playing right now. There's mm. one nitpick I really have is the open assassin assassination missions. Oh, those I'm, were fun to me. I'm still, co -op? No, I'm still trying to get through the second one. Uh, through the second assassination where it's like, oh, like you choose your own path. Like, oh. I'm trying to go through the route where you clog up um, the sewer pipes. So that it gets like really smoky underneath. Uh huh. <gasps> I yeah. Wait. I keep getting. You're talking about the Leroy the Dune? Yeah. I love that mission. That's one of my favorites. <laughs> I keep getting lost. I, I'll, oh. I keep like hitting dead ends and shit, and then I die, and then this is all fucking over again. Oh no. I have rage quit this game so many oh, times no. already. <laughs> 
I love that one because that assassination is so satisfying to me. Like, there's a few in all the games where it feels really good, and that's one of them. That and the uh, Chevalier and Rogue. Mm. Mm -hmm. And Lucy Thorne. Mm. This is why I've been playing Red Dead Online so much because I keep getting pissed off at Unity. <laughs> oh no, that's I so been... sad to hear. But... Yeah. Like, I but love shouldn't it. be worrying that you're kind of orgasming on uh, Assassin's Creed Death. What? Can uh, we all uh, be creepy out that you can have an orgasm on some bad guy at Death in Assassin's Creed? <laughs> no! That's not what I mean! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Why would no. you not cry? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god look I, she's a though. bitch and it was satisfying okay you're like damn she pissed me I'm off just saying. <laughs> oh my god oh yo i just thought of something else you get to meet le chevalier day on in unity and that is also an absolute dream come true because my favorite anime is le chevalier day on it's about day on and so the fact that he was in the game like Oh my god, it freaked me out. It was awesome. <laughs> but I just want to say for the record, I hate Danton's sacrifice because I do not like Danton. And I wish that they didn't portray him as a martyr because I think that is absolute bullshit. But the fact that Camille was also in the wagon with him before they got beheaded and you can't save him also kills me. <sighs> Sigh. Go eat your twig. Mm, I could go for one right now. <laughs> I haven't eaten yet. <laughs> what? Well, it's not. What? Bad. Oh, no, I eat before I go to work because otherwise I have to wait like five hours before I get lunch and then I get hungry. So if I eat before I go to work, then I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> there is a method to my madness most of the time. Well, my work schedule is like messed up too, so... Mm. All right. So. Oh wait, hold on, real quick. You have a minute and a half. <laughs> okay, the big mouth cheat is the greatest thing that ever happened. The fact that Shay says we when he does a leap of faith is the most adorable thing ever, and I absolutely love it. Thank you. Are we good now, Sai? You had your fun. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's hold on. Let me stop this timer real quick. So it doesn't. <laughs> All right, so the last part that we're going to be talking about today is actually the 2016 movie Assassin's Creed. So I realized this movie wasn't actually really talked much about by the last generation of member moderators and everything else. So we're going to talk about it. I just yeah, watched, I just finally finished watching it this morning. I start. <laughs> I swear, I started watching it when it first came out, and I. It got like halfway through and I just never finished it. So I went and watched it this morning and I screamed at the ending. <laughs> um big if if you guys don't understand, this is a boiler warning. We are gonna go through so much shit now about <laughs> Oh hell yeah. I have a lot to say. I bet a lot of other people have a lot to say. Me. So if yes. You if you haven't seen the Assassin's Creed movie and if you are afraid or don't want to hear oh, about a lot of profanity, <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys have a good day and you enjoyed the podcast episode. But here we go. We got 30 minutes about to go at it. So let's so begin. If you, <laughs> so if you don't care about spoiler, just grab a seat and make yourself home. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so... The Animus. Let, let's just start with the Animus. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, <laughs> no, God. you knew, you know Sai says she wanted to talk about this so much. <laughs> Maybe like oh. four, three minutes. Okay, so I'm going to talk real quick before I let Sai have a rant. <laughs> <laughs> so the reason why the Animus is created this way for the movie is all because for effects. Money. Unlike the games, when you're supposed like you're supposed to just lay down and then boom, you're in an assassin body. 
you're supposed to kind of see throughout the movie Al's transformation of sorts to be able to synchronize with his ancestors. So that's the whole reason they want to show that. They want to show his emotion as he's experiencing these things for the very first time. I kind of like that that's the reason why they had this like couple million dollar machine for <laughs> the movie aspect for it. But the logic aspect, we're going to bring it to Psy now because I think he's going to be able to explain this the most. <laughs> without- oh my god. <laughs> you have an established franchise that has been going on for years. We all know what the animus is like. You can't just throw in this random thing and say, no, this is the animus. Because, nah, uh we know that. I had only played two games and I knew that wasn't the animus. It's uh, cool. Let me play the devil's advocate. Like, they wanted to make a movie that Assassin's Squad, Assassin's Yes, we've had this discussion. Let let me. me. So I think the idea we wanted to make is that they wanted to not be like we will watch a movie and get bored. I think they wanted to make a different way. Didn't mean I liked the movie. I was kind of mad in front of it. But I think they did have to show a different way they can show the animus or a different question of the Assassin's Creed franchise and give it a a fresh play on it. That's my point of view. You can continue. No, I, I totally agree and I understand, but I think that's where it, the fault lies. They were trying to make an Assassin's Creed movie that wasn't Assassin's Creed. Like, they should have made the movie for the fans. Because, honestly, like, as a non-Assassin's Creed fan, I might not have seen the movie you know so just make it how it should have been make the movie like mostly the historical aspect minimal with what's the word i'm blanking modern era and keep the animus as it is to me the animus looked stupid it was just them flaunting their money and like okay yeah it's a better example to show how you know, when you're in the Animus, therefore, then you'll be able to, like, be an assassin like Desmond. But still, it was just, it looked so stupid and was so overdramatic. And the entire time I was just cringing and just going, why? But Arno made a cameo, so that was really cool. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Oh. Like, I just I think it looks stupid. I mean, when I watched it, uh, I mean, I, I watched it with my mom and my dad. And, mm-hmm. you know, they like they kind of know what Assassin's Creed was, but they also, also, like, didn't know what it was. They got the gist of it, the movie. And, like, just because they were, like, I guess I categorize them as an outsider. They honestly couldn't follow what was going on. And mm-hmm. I had to, I had to like pause the movie and sit down and kind of just run down like the history of AC and stuff. And I thought mm-hmm. this sucks because like the movie had potential and it just they they did it in such a weird way. Like the effects were cool. I really like how they did everything, but just the approach of it was a little a little iffy, you know. Mm-hmm. Especially the storytelling. Like I was like, okay, I get it, but there's too much just suspense more than answering the questions mm-hmm. yeah like you probably saw in the group chat when i finished the movie i'm like wait that's it that's how they're ending the movie because it doesn't really answer questions like yeah it they said that oh the apple like it can control people and everything else and it's bad and it's bad and no one should do it and the t- the pacing was just so strange you have all yeah these- Characters that you don't really know, like who they're supposed to be. You just know, oh, they're important. And then mm-hmm. in, like, oh, they're just going and oh shit, they have their ancestors' weapons now. They broke into the case. Oh, they're now in London at their Templar HQ. Oh, they have the apple, and it's over. What? Yeah. They yeah. tried to explain uh, full French house in two hours. That was quite a challenge. 
Yeah. That's why I'm saying just make the movie for the fans because then you wouldn't have to do that. They could have made a really good one-off story. But no, they were trying to make non-fans go and see the movie. And even then they wouldn't like it because they wouldn't understand it. Yeah. Yeah. But strange. Yeah, the pacing was bad. I think it it should have been more Aguilar and less Callum. Yeah. Because that's what most of the games are anyway, is the historical part. And it's more interesting. Like Aguilar had like what? 20 minutes of screen time, and it was the best part of the movie. Yeah. Actually, when I rewatch it, I only watch the Aguilar part, Scott. Because yeah. uh, Gary Potter are kind of awkward and, let's say, cringy. The chase scene is, like, my favorite thing. Oh it's so God, much fun to watch. It. I love the chase scene so much. Just all the action and mm-hmm. Just how much training they would have had to go through to be able to pull that shit off. That leap of faith at the end was the longest, like, unprotected jump stunt in Hollywood history, I believe. Oh, shit. Damn. That, uh, yeah, that, a dude actually did that. Cool. <laughs> at the end of the chase. Mm-hmm. Was wow. Was there a behind the scene on YouTube for the leap of faith? What? There is a bina behind the scene on YouTube uh, oh. for the Leap of Faith. Yeah, I didn't. Um, I haven't seen any of the behind the scenes stuff, but I read the trivia on IMDb, and Sean apparently made a cameo, but they cut it from the movie. Oh, uh, what the? F- I know. I Why? think it's in the extra. I don't know. I don't know, and he doesn't either. But he's really mad about it. I would be too. <laughs> I know. Um. Yeah. Aren't we all? <laughs> I don't like the uh, woman I forget her name, woman Templar I think she's not interesting and oh, the scientist? Yeah. what? the scientist one? yeah, yeah her yeah, I, she just seemed dull the whole time she's like, oh, she's a scientist she wants to have no fighting okay. yeah. and then at the end, like after her father gets killed, she's just like oh I mean, come yeah, on now. What's her I'm, not gonna help, I'm not gonna help you anymore. Exactly. Like the whole movie, she's like secretly wanting to be an assassin, is what you're kind of getting at. And then at the yeah. end, it's just no. No. I thought that was bullshit. Like, I yeah. knew it was a sequel, but no, the sequel's not coming anymore. So it feels even more empty. I know. <laughs> yeah. Like, and see, I'm that's sorry. what. Hold on, yeah. let me let me grab a degree from my shelf real quick. Oh. <laughs> I need to go set this in the fire now after watching the movie, because holy shit. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of how I felt, because I spent so many classes, like learning about character development and story writing and animation and just... Mm-hmm, no... Yeah, like, I don't looks, think it looks cool, but that's about it. Yeah, I don't think Ubisoft had really anything to do with it. They said, yeah, you could take the franchise, and they're like, you can throw Easter eggs in, and that's about it. So that's why it doesn't quite feel like Assassin's Creed. It's because it's, I don't know what company made it, I don't remember, but they made it, not Ubisoft. Oh, that's, you want the franchise? That's that much, Dara. Thank you. Yeah, well, originally, um, it was Ubisoft making it, but I think they wanted, not needed, wanted more money to make it, so another company, like, said, sure, we'll make it, and then they took over and kind of pushed Ubisoft out. So that's why it's what it is. Yeah. Although, for the record, I do like... Callum and Aguilar as characters. I think they're really cool, yeah. and I'm happy that they're in Rebellion too. I fucking love their like. I love Cal's just character design. I guess in his art, because mm-hmm. at first he's like, no, 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 I, I can't accept this. I can't accept this fact because he kept remembering about his father and how his father did to him, like he killed a, his mother and so forth. But after. Mm-hmm meeting they had in the rehabilitation old people area and 
like he thought he was gonna fucking kill his father and he did it and later you see his father having his blade back you're like shit mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's a weird movie. <laughs> like, it's enjoyable. I like it, but it could have been so much better. Here's the thing. Okay, I'm running on about three hours of right now. It was fun for me with three hours of sleep, but if mm -hmm. I'm like fully awake, I'll probably be criticizing and critiquing it the whole time and like throwing my shit all over it. So yeah. Well, the first time I watched it, I had only played Unity and Syndicate, so I was fine with it, because even then, I still didn't really know what was going on. It felt off, but I liked it, and then the last few times I went back and watched it, the whole time I'm, like, shouting at the screen, being like, that's not how you do a leap of faith! Like, <laughs> stupid stuff like that. Yeah, like, I wish... Me, even though I haven't played, like, all the games and so forth, or really any of the games, I have spent a lot of hours researching, like, the lore of everything. Mm -hmm. um, So that I can, like, kind of know what's going on. Because my whole thing, I got this Assassin's Creed for the role-playing. Not really for the games. I love the concepts, I make my own characters, have my own spin-offs, and everything else. So, mm -hmm. but I know enough of the lore that I'm like, Sh no, no, that's, that's what? Mm -hmm. Mm, nah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish there were more um nods to the games and stuff. Like they have the weapons and then the three assassins that kind of like team up with Cal, they're all descendants of past games. Like one of them is um I think Xiao Yun and then someone was from like a background character from Liberation and then someone who cares to be able to and I'm like, that's it? That's lame. What more? And then, like, there was Arno, too, which was kind of cool, because it came out... The movie came out before Unity came out. But, uh... Still, it was, like... Could have done no, more. The mo Wait, no, the movie came out after Unity. Oh, did it? Yeah. Well, I know yeah. Unity came out in Unity 2016. Unity came out in 2014, too. and the movie came out in 2016. No, Unity came out in 2016, because I bought it as a graduation gift to myself yeah. after I graduated high school, and that was 2016. No, because I bought the game 2014 because that's when I bought my first PlayStation 4 by myself. <laughs> and I got a bundle. Unity? It. Yeah. That's how I got into it. Yeah, and, I, I, mean, I remember. Um, because It was a bundle. It was, oh, it was 2014. Wait. Yeah, so. <laughs> I, oh, wait. No, hold on. That's so weird, though, because, like, in 2016, I f was finally getting, like, the trailers and stuff, and they said it wasn't released yet. So that's weird. What the? Where are you? <laughs> the animus is messing with my memories. <laughs> time yeah. is irrelevant. You're going back in time. Hold on. Now I'm going to check because I feel dumb if, I, if I'm wrong. No, no, no. You're right. It is 2014. I just Googled. Oh, okay. That's weird. <gasps> the apple of Eden is messing with my mind. Michael was right. <gasps> oh my god. Yeah. Guys, no. the bleeding effect is real. <laughs> oh, speaking of that, I really like that. Oh, uh, the like is the bleeding effect in the movie. Um, yeah, with, with like they're both fighting each other. Like I don't know why, but I was like, well, that like that's I don't know. I found that cool. And yeah. I felt like he was just fighting like his past and everything, and then you know, just Aguilar was like going at it at him, and I was like, damn, damn, no, no mercy. I know. <laughs> and then also, it was really cool. I was just like, there's two of them. <laughs> one of my having a crush on the actor. One of my favorite scenes in the movie when they escape uh, before they got burned. Mm, but this yeah. one has so much action in it. Yeah. Oh, shit. Um, and... I think... Oh, were you gonna say something? Hmm? Were you gonna say something, Kat? Yeah, that you also look that Ubi makes some money of the movie by making some Aguilar hidden blade in Ubi substore. Yeah, they made, like, the Apple of Eden. Not the really buy, and that was it. The Apple of Eden is more for Origins one. But like on the Ubisoft website, when they used to have like collectibles and stuff, the only stuff from the movie they had was uh, the Apple of Eden. And I was like, okay. That's weird. That's yeah. Time I, last time I checked, I only found Ali Aguilar Eden Blade and actually the Apple of Eden from uh, Origins. Oh. Uh, they they took down all the collectibles and clothing and stuff on the Ubisoft store, so 
Which I'm bummed. I never got Desmond's hoodie. <laughs> I want to say, um, I the first time I watched the movie, and I still kind of feel this way, I, I feel like Aguilar and Maria's relationship is just a little forced. It seemed really random to me, but I love it, nonetheless. I bet you will. <laughs> oh, like, uh, like you said, it's kind of oh, saying couple, deal with it. Like, so we please? No? Okay. Fuck off. And I exit. Yeah, I think they mistreated her. And I was bummed about that. But it's like, oh, it's Assassin's Creed. Something bad has to happen to the main character because it's Assassin's it's Creed. It's Creed. <laughs> it's pattern. I know, like, um, with characters and so forth, I try to stay away from that now. Like, the whole, oh, like, they went into a bad tragic accident. That's why they became an assassin. That's why they became this. Like, I have two characters now where it's like, they live the normal, like, life and so forth. And then just one mm -hmm. day, like, something happened. I just came across, like, a fork in a road where they can choose either join this group or just keep living their normal life and they chose to go on the adventure that they're on now. <laughs> yeah. See, I have a I have an OC actually where uh I don't know why, but I actually made her tied to the movie and um because originally I was gonna do like a, like where she was tied with Ezio's uh timeline. Well, I mean it's still the same timeline but like with more in Italy and I was like nah I'm Sp I'm Spaniard. I want to I want to do something from Spain. So I did that because that movie came out at the same time I was making hers. So I was like, that that feels good. But then I'll be honest, I kind of strayed a really far away from the movie. I didn't follow them. I, the only thing I followed was that she came back with Aguilar to get the Apple of Eden, and then like the ending of it. I I hate the ending of mine with it, but I was just like, I'm gonna follow it because that was kind of the point of why I made her. And I didn't, I didn't do any of this, so this is, this is it. <laughs> and, uh, and then I, and then I redid it, so like she has really no ties <laughs> to that, cause I, I hated it, I don't like it, and plus I, kind of following with the OC thing, like I kind of gave her like the only reason why she enjoyed the Assassin's Creed was because she had something bad happen to her, but then I just like, I don't know, it seems too cliche, it seems like an everything. Thing. So I, I changed it. So it's more like she was born, didn't know, and then got involved with it. <laughs> yeah. So for my first character, Emma, I made her just a little bit past the eighteen hundreds to join along with Aiden, Hydra, and all of them, because Unity came out around the time we all joined together in our group. And at first, like she was like a fucking like runaway bride. <laughs> <laughs> She was in an arranged marriage, and she was just like, fuck that shit, and ran away with, like, two random guys on a ship. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I just over the years, I kept staring at that concept, staring at that concept, and then I'm like, I don't like it, I don't like it. And so just, like, about two months ago, I'm like, fuck it, we're changing it all. We're changing it all. <laughs> so now she, like, her father was an assassin and fought in the French Revolution. And so, post-revolution, when they were trying to figure out their government, um, she was she cross-dressed and was a messenger. So she went to different camps and so forth to send messages messages to commanders and so forth. It just so happened to run into this Romanian assassin, and it went from there. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> like, she was in neutral, but, like, she was familiar with the assassin. Uh, she was familiar with assassins because of her father, but she never really planned to join them until a certain Romanian was like, "Uh, yeah, either you join us or you die." Damn. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so that was fun. Noise. Oh God. <laughs> Um, Let's see what else. What else? Scar from The Lion King is the grandmaster in the movie. <laughs> what? Dead. Yeah, Jeremy Irons. It's the same voice actor. Or no! actor. 
Yes. Oh, oh no. no. I'm looking it up. I can't believe this. We're watching an English cat. Let and you can relive French. the magic. <laughs> no. You're supposed to live oh French. I'm mad. He is. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. My mind has been blown. I know mine too when I first found out. <laughs> no. They don't sound alike. They don't sound alike. <laughs> Okay. Well. <laughs> oh my God. I'm just. I'm just thinking. If Scar is the Grandmaster, I'm imagining like Thomas Hickey would be Ed the Hyena. <laughs> Imagine him singing in the in the middle of the assembly. Oh my God! If only prepared. Oh, oh fuck! I need to go listen to the song now. When this is over, let me go pull it up on YouTube real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, wouldn't that be awesome if there was a uh, Assassin's Creed musical? I know that. Um, uh, I would jam. Jim, well, no, when they were making um, Syndicate, uh, like all of the cast would be constantly making songs and stuff be behind the scenes and stuff, and none of it made it to cut. But they're out there. It's filmed. I gotta go find it. Um, I don't know if it's released God damn because it. I was watching uh, the Assassin's Den podcast on YouTube and oh, which one was it? I think it was Arno. Uh, they were interviewing him and he's like, oh yeah, Ubisoft has like vaults full of bloopers and behind the scenes stuff. They can hire multiple people to like go through them and release them on social media, but they just haven't. Oh. But they did release um, a blooper from Rogue, and it's utter perfection. <laughs> you know, thinking, um, I kind of wish if they if they do continue to make movies, I don't know if they will or if they're not. Like especially with the sequel being canceled and shit. Um, like I kind of, I, I don't know if they're gonna do like what they did with this movie, like make a different character that's not from a game. But place it mm -hmm. like in a later game, you know. Um, I I really want like some like a, what is it a cowboy? There you go. Like I hate this, but I really enjoy cowboy movies. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, give yeah, give me cowboy. <laughs> we better make that with the Red Dead Redemption that the universe is more sticking to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, because I mean, I made myself a um a, a cowboy assassin, and you know. Well, would be lit as shit, but would be the Templars, like you can go like something is a gold rush, but uh, yeah, that's where my character is. You can have oh. less of characters. Oh, I mean, I mean, I have to. I don't know the history too well with it because I suck with American history. <laughs> um. <laughs> so do I. Unless, well, here's the thing, Cat. You have an excuse. Is you live in the Netherlands? No, you're in Swedish. You live in Sweden. And then the rest of us- Swiss! Fuck! No! What? I'm Swiss! For fuck's sake, I'm Swiss! Like, we've been <laughs> in the topic a few times, and I'm Swiss, not Sweden. Swiss! You were Swiss. <laughs> like, Swiss <whiskey>. cheese. <laughs> they don't fucking speak French in Sweden. They speak Swedish! <laughs> I have three hours to sleep, please don't- Cat yeah, is about to roast you. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry to snap, but father already did the mistakes. I'm fucking sweet. Like, I have watches, I have money, I have cheese. That's cheese. because. The cheese. The cheese. Shit! Yes. I was I'll make if you- Let's no. say I have milk chocolate. That's easier for people to- No. Memory. I, I was gonna pick up cheese and bread to make grilled cheese, and I forgot to. <laughs> Anyway, what was he talking about? Oh, um, well, we have like oh. five minutes left. Um, oh, yeah, we do. Five minutes. Whoa. So that people well, can get ready for work, get ready for class, and send if you wish for through. the five less minutes, I can sh show you things about my country to educate <laughs> people here. Sure, I can edit it in. Do it. I can edit it in. <laughs> <clears throat> Show us well, the pretty aesthetic photos that make people want to jump through. So for people who don't have a good geography like me, Switzerland <laughs> is the middle of Europe. 
We're not part of Europe. We're just in the middle. Europe is <laughs> not big part. Yes, we do have snow. Yes, it's less than sub zero in winter, but we're in just in the middle of Europe. Our time zone is like uh, European. I don't know. We don't have a TMC or hours to hard from Europe. I think we just right in the middle of the equator. Not good enough in my own story. I should throw me some work before I speak. And we do have some lakes. No, they don't have salt and we don't have sand, we only have rocks. And what else to say? Yeah, it's hot in summer and cold in winter, so bring different causes, changing the season you come in. And you like to ride your motorcycle in the beautiful rural parts of it and make us jealous. Yep, you can travel a full country in five hours. I'll do all the roads, almost all the roads in five days. Because we're so small. We're so small. <laughs> like, uh, Switzerland is smaller than one part of the uh, of America. Like, the smaller part of America is bigger than Switzerland. So let's see what you... What size it give us? Oh. Anything else I should I had about uh, my beautiful country? Um, can you please come pick me up and take me away from the hellhole of America before uh, when's the election again? Uh, <laughs> November. November <laughs> uh, I can try, but you ha we have to take a plane and this coronavirus is gonna be hard. But uh, because of the stupid fucking travel ban. Okay, guys, guys, okay. PSA. PSA for all you assassins, templars, and neutrals. Please wear a fucking face mask. <laughs> Please wash And register face. to vote, y'all. Yeah, if you're wear a face mask, vote. If you're over the age, if you're 18 or above, please register to vote for the upcoming election. I know the, the signage everywhere is getting super annoying. I actually see people taking the Trump and Biden signs and spray painting profanities on them or saying, go back to um, your tower. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, very, it's very fun in my city. But uh, the sooner we can just get this virus over with, the sooner things can go back to normal and we can go and make our plans for trips and go back to not being an online school when we're stuck in Zoom calls for eight hours a day. I know a lot of you guys are really hating that right now. I hate my school from home as well. So yeah. um, I'm actually seeing a lot of people in public, even though we have mandatory mask laws. One, police are not actually handing the tickets they're supposed to hand out. And so that means a lot of people are not wearing them or not wearing them properly. So please be safe, keep your family safe, keep strangers safe, wash your hands, wear a face mask, let's get this pandemic over with. <laughs> oh, stop um, having birthday parties. Yeah, stop having mostly, birthday parties. Mostly, be fucking careful with the gender with this. Oh my god, I was gonna mention that. Oh my <laughs> god, hey, you're not even here. You can't say that. <laughs> yes, um, guys, please stop using the gender reveal fireworks. Um, especially in areas like California, where you can start a fire. Um, right. Yes, if people haven't seen the news for America, we are literally in a firing hell. <laughs> Yay! Oh, <that> was <laughs> right, a literally and figuratively. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, any last moments? We have like 20 seconds, and then we'll wrap this up. Uh... Can we say whatever we want? I love Arno. Should we do a cat down? <laughs> I too love Arno and Shay and Haytham and Jacob. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> um, okay. All right. <laughs> all right, thank you once again for listening to the pa the Council Podcast. I'm going to go and walk our hyperactive puppy now. And hope <laughs> you guys have a good day, night, morning, and whatever, whenever this episode comes out. So, bye! Bye! bye. Goodbye!